Hello and welcome to Rin Reads. Once again, it's what is that strange background noise? I don't know why. I always end up having something. But anyways, sorry you can hear the washer going in the background. Just so happens this is the time that I actually have some time to sit down and do this review. So we have Sweet Valley Twins 45. Once again, this is a Phantom Skylar book. Um, obviously created by Francine Pascal. Um, so Lucy takes the reins. Um, this is a really fun one because it, you know, kind of goes into Elizabeth and her horse obsession, which, I mean, I, I was obsessed with horses and so I really related to Elizabeth growing up. Um, I did riding lessons and all of that and I wanted to own a horse so badly. So um, this was kind of nostalgic in that way. Um, I'm pretty sure I read this book before, but I couldn't really remember the details of it rereading it now as an adult. Um, I really kind of enjoyed the different um, topics that they brought into this one. So um, there's an oil spill and Jessica gets involved in cleaning up the oil spill. Um, it starts kind of because of a baby seal and a cute boy, but um, I think by the end Jessica kind of has grown up and like really truly does. Um, believe in trying to help the environment and you know it's just really sweet to see how um interested she is in her baby seal that she saves on the beach um then we have elizabeth who i think it's ted yeah so ted who bought lila's horse thunder um ted is behind on his payments to the stable and is going to have to sell thunder because he can't afford to keep thunder there's a jumping competition coming up. The money that Ted would win if he could win is enough to pay, like settle his back payments so everything would be fine and he'd be able to keep Thunder. Um, that being said, of course, dun, 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 Ted has an accident and is unable to jump. So um, there's Lucy, who's a new girl. It's amazing how many new students end up at Sweet Valley for plot devices. But anyway, so Lucy is new to Sweet Valley Middle School. She's in seventh grade, so a grade ahead of Elizabeth. And she just mysteriously shows up at the stables, has a really good way with horses, lots of great riding and jumping advice. And everybody's like, oh, what's her story? And she doesn't really say much. Um, I thought it was really interesting because even partway through, just kind of like the hints and stuff, I was like, is it epilepsy? So, um, Lucy's story really, like, I'm, I was a huge Degrassi fan as well. Like, I loved Degrassi High, Degrassi Junior High, um, growing up. And so, um, Lucy's story actually reminded me a lot of Caitlin's story when Caitlin got epilepsy and how she didn't want to tell her friends. She refused to wear her, um, med medical bracelet and, um, really tried to hide the fact that she was sick. And so Lucy is kind of doing the same thing too. Like when it's time for her to take her medications, she'd be like, oh, I have a headache and then like take a pill. And um, so, you know, she was really secretive about her condition and, um, you know, later on goes into talking about how um, people treat her differently and look at her differently because of her condition, even though if she takes her medication and monitors herself, she can live a normal life. And so I thought it was really cool that they were um, dealing with those kind of issues. I also found it really interesting that there are parallels to the same issues that things like Degrassi dealt with. So obviously these must have been topics of conversation for teens back then if you know it's coming up in multiple different um, media. And so I thought it was really interesting and I think it's a really great um, message on kind of inclusion and, you know, our own personal biases of people who have chronic conditions and those sorts of things and kind of helps us to look at those and how we treat other people and, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I really like the topics that they kind of did here so there was like the epilepsy topic as well as um the environmental thing with elizabeth and the oil or not elizabeth jessica and the oil spill so yeah i really enjoyed it um 
there's not a lot to say on just this one book. I just, I thought it was great. I liked the themes, I liked the message, and I think that this, personally, I think that the messages and themes and topics in this book are still relevant today and um, would still be appreciated by a modern audience. So, I mean, I know they're dated. This one is probably, I don't know, late 80s? Let's see. Ooh, 91. So this is actually early 90s. So, um, yeah, um, even though it's a book from the early 90s, I think that it's still topics that are applicable today. Um, not all of the Sweet Valley books age as well, and I don't think would be as useful in today's society, but I do think that this one um, kind of talks about different topics that would still be relevant. Anyways, that's what I think of Lucy Takes the Reins. Have a wonderful day.